Hey, it's Pete, GCI Turf. Hope you're doing good and just want to make a quick video right here. I've had several people comment and email and text and, you know, uh, post on the Private Academy Facebook page. Hey, they're having trouble getting their, their tank primed. Well, I just want to show you a real simple way to do this. Real easy. And I'm going to kind of give you an explanation uh, using just a standard garden hose is all we're going to do. Okay, so when you take out your garden hose from the winter, all the air, I mean, all the water in the line is pretty much gone, okay? It's nothing but air inside this line. Now, I've got the valve turned off. So this is going to represent the trigger, the squeeze trigger, on your battery-powered sprayer. Now, once you turn the water on, the water spigot on, that water has to push all of the air out of this line through the end, and the air is going to come out first until you get to the water. I want you to listen to this and, and, and hear the sound it makes. You can actually hear the air coming out. Okay, so did you hear right at the beginning, you heard that burst of air, and then it, the, the water kind of had some air bubbles in it. It wasn't a constant flow like it is right there. You, that's more of a constant flow. Now we know that all of that air is out of the line. Now I'm gonna go over here to the sprayer and show you how to do this exact same thing, except we're gonna use this sprayer to do it. Now this right here is the four gallon version that we're selling on the Academy website. And I've got a deal with them to where you get free shipping on it. We got this one and another one, a two gallon. It's at GCITurfacademy.com. You can check them out and look through them. And if you want to get one, you make sure you use GCI Academy as a coupon code. And that way you can get free shipping on it. It saves about 20 or 25 bucks on it. Now, before I show you, there's a major difference in the way this water gets in this hose and the water gets in this pump right here. This water comes off the spigot on my house, which comes from the city. And that, that, that line, that main line, I don't know, it's that big, runs beside the road there. Now that water has force behind it, or it has pressure to push it. When I open that valve up, it pushes this water through the hose. This doesn't have that. This has gravity and a little bit of suction power by a little teeny tiny pump that's down inside here. You gotta remember, this isn't a big muscle bound uh, Kappa 43 gear reduction spray pump. This is a simple battery powered sprayer. And sometimes we have to help that liquid get to the pump. Okay, so the way I'm gonna help the water get to the pump is I'm gonna create a bigger opening for the water to get out. And if I turn this on and cut it on and, and you're not getting anything coming out of your nozzle, it's very simple. You basically unscrew the handle from the filter. Turn it on. Make sure you're getting a good, steady flow, like so. Cut it off. Screw your handle back on. Turn your pump on. There you go. All right, so I know you're saying, hey, Pete, do I have to do that every time? Well, no, not really. Here's the way I do it. I, Remember, every time OCD is all get out, and everything I do is in a systematic approach. So let's say I'm out spraying my RGS, or my pre-immersion, or my three-way, or whatever I'm spraying, and I'm done spraying the yard, and I come back over here to the hose pipe, and I'm gonna clean my tank out and get rid of what's left in here. I'm gonna dispose of that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean it out with fresh water. Well, instead of emptying all of that water out, I always leave a little bit of water in the bottom. It might be a quart of water in there. And then before I put my sprayer up, I crack my hose, turn my pump back on, just run it back in the tank like that. 
There you go. All right. That way it's already ready to, it's primed and ready to go for my next application. Now let's say, you know, I've got some, I know it's primed and I got my water in here and I got my products in here and everything's in here nice and mixed up. What I'll do is uncrack this just like this and do the same thing until my water changes color. Okay, when, you know, all these biosimilars, they're a good, nice black color. So you're going to know when you, when you get the, the product is, is, is at the end of your hose because it's going to change color. Then I'll simply screw it back on. I'm ready to go spray. So I hope that helps. I hope that clears up a lot of the issues you're having. And uh, I guess get your spray right.